Lisa and this is my husband Logan. We have farmed through South and Woodlands in Southland. We have a small boutique dairy farm. We milk 20 cows and supply raw milk straight to the public out of a vending machine 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year. Originally Melissa and I are from Mochwaga and just really looking for a opportunity to become self-employed. We couldn't really find anything that really to turn our hand to in that area, so we decided to have a go at dairy farming. So we moved down here in 2009, green as grass, um, no experience, had to go dairy farming and we thought we'd give it a go for a year. Fell in love with the place and haven't looked back. Three years working for other people and five years contract milking before we took the leap and bought our own wee, wee farm. And what we found too moving down here is real estate was a lot cheaper than Mochway Canal area, mm -hmm. so that sort of was quite attractive to us as well. Yeah, and um, and I think it's yeah very true that I mean what we're doing here, it's there was no way we'd have the opportunity to do this in Mochway, so. Um, there's definitely a lot of opportunity for those that you know, are willing to work for it. We went back home up to Golden Bay one Christmas for a holiday and, and bought some raw milk. Went home and told Logan where I'd been and what I'd bought because I thought it was pretty cool. And Logan told me it was a stupid idea and it was just for hippies. <laughs> and, then, and then a few years later I had this great idea and look where we are. <laughs> Being a dairy farmer, we always enjoyed having milk straight from the cows anyway. We just wanted to be able to share that with other people. We talk about better tastes, better health, better planet. So that really covers what we're all about. It tastes better, um, it's better for your health. As far as milk is a living food, with raw milk it's still got all the goodness and probiotics in it that are really good for your overall health and gut health and better for the planet as well. So we use glass reusable bottles. We've actually worked out that since we've been open, which is coming up 18 months, we've saved around about 55 to 60,000 plastic bottles from being used so far. So it's pretty cool. We wanted to be able to close that gap between the farmer and the customer. They can really understand exactly where their food comes from and understand how we farm, why we farm that way. It's really about building that trust and that relationship with our customers. Our milking process is a very high standard of hygiene. The cleaning process takes longer than milking them. The quality of the milk is based on making sure the baddies don't get into the milk in the first place. Once we've done that, the cows will get milked. It goes straight through the pipe, um, through a filter and plate cooler and into the vending machine. Nothing's added, nothing taken away. Just, just milk. Doesn't get much pressure than that. And they say around here, once you go raw, you come back for more. <laughs>